If religion is the opiate of the masses, then my question is, why do the masses need an opiate? Um, the famous quote, religion is the opiate of the masses, comes from Karl Marx, the founder of communism, they say. Of course, the real founder was the Catholic Church, but that's another issue. Uh, and Karl Marx worked at the behest of the Catholic Church. But um, this thing, this insult, is that uh, ignorant people um, need religion. The masses need this thing of religion. They need to believe in God and whatever else. Um, but here's the problem with that. If atheism is this great thing that people that are very intelligent are atheists and they're and they're so smart that they don't need a god, then um, why can't atheists ever come up with anything to replace uh, religion with? You know, uh, religion is this thing for stupid people. Okay, enlighten us. Come out with something better than religion. Um, and I'm not even a big fan of organized religion, by the way. Organized religion has always persecuted Bible-believing Christians. So, uh, but it's a very serious thing to think about. Atheism uh, puts itself out there as this great thing when it's all the most intelligent people, the scientific community and whatever else, they're all atheists. Okay, and uh, all you brilliant people, why can't you come up with anything to replace um, religion? Um, <laughs> and what a lot of atheists seem to forget is the fact that uh, all of us at some point in time uh, those of us that are saved, we all had access to the same things that they have access to. And we all messed with it. Be it alcohol or, you know, sexual perversion or whatever other things that our mean God tells us we can't take part in. Uh, we all had access to that stuff. So what does, really, what does atheism really have to offer uh, people involved in religion? You know, we need the opiate of uh, religion. Well, why do you need an opiate? Because you're in pain. Um, there's a lot of suffering in the world. And of course, uh, I find it very hypocritical that Karl Marx, the incredible idiot that he was, he comes out and he's making fun of religious people um, and saying about that we need an opiate. And yet he created a philosophy that killed something like 65 million people in Russia and well over 100 million people in communist China. Um, and that's a good thing? That's better than religion? You know, thank you for your atheistic communism there, Karl Marx. Um, that's not an opiate for the masses. I guess it's a cyanide for the masses. You know, brilliant. And all you stupid atheists out there, you foolish atheists, to uh, use that thing that Karl's, Karl Marx said as though it's some kind of a great thing and ha ha ha, you know, we're so smart. Christians are such dumb people, you know. And I, it always cracks me up, too, that these atheists, they'll say about how Christians are so gullible because they'll lie to Christians, and Christians, being honest, good people, will believe them a lot of times. And then the atheist says, oh, I was just making it up. Ha oh, I ha, was, I was lying. You know. Uh, atheists are wicked people. They really are. Uh, the Bible, that's why the Bible says the fool hath said in his heart there is no God. They are corrupt. They are abominable. Um, God doesn't think too much of atheists. And uh, you can make fun of God all that you want to, but uh, the truth of the matter is atheism is going to come to an end um, before very long as well. A lot of the atheists out there, they, their whole thing is that uh, show me proof. I want to see proof. I need to see scientific evidence. Oh, you're going to see plenty of that. You're going to see proof that uh, there is a supernatural realm. And um, when you see it, you're going to be uh, crying like a little schoolgirl. The Bible actually talks about the mighty men running away naked in the end times when they see the horrible things coming. Um, and uh, atheists are not mighty men. They're usually little uh, city boys that sit around playing video games and, and uh, have a hatred for God or something. Or another one, another big group of atheists is uh, those who have been raised in organized religion and they were molested by a priest or a pastor or something like that. And then they end up hating God as a result. Because after all, if God's real, why would he allow anything bad to happen in the world? Well, that's stupid. God gives free will. All right, everybody gets free will. And you can do something about um, being molested as a child. All right.
I mean, it's easier just to blame God for it and then live as a victim all of your life uh, and, you know, look for a reason to justify living in horrible, wicked sin and searing your conscience. That's a lot easier than actually being a man and doing something about um, being molested as a child. So, just some of my thoughts on this whole thing. Just uh, <laughs> cracks me up the way that people come out with things and they just think it's such a brilliant statement. So, if you're a Bible-believing Christian out there and somebody comes out to you with that statement of uh, religion is the opiate of the masses, <laughs> okay, <laughs> sure. Um, we don't really believe in organized, organized religion. Uh, we believe in a personal relationship with Jesus Christ. So I'll put some links here at the end of this video to some good sermons that you can watch um, about atheism and things. And uh, uh, the atheist time is coming to an end. That's all I can say. Uh, they're going to be seeing things in the future that are going to really shake them up. They will see things in the supernatural realm. So that is going to be it. Thank you for watching.